Hi, you're with Chandeep Chhabra once again at Goodly. And in this video, uh, we're going to see that how can we make a target chart when we have unique uh, targets for every value. Uh, let's take a look at this chart where we have different salesmen. We have their sales and a unique target for each salesman. So we have the target here, which is 196. And you can see the red one is uh, the targets that the salesman was not able to meet. Uh, similarly, if you take a look at here, Jackson had a target of 140 and Jackson had the total target of 148, but he overachieved that by 13, right? So we're going to see that how can we make this chart, but le let me first deconstruct the chart to see that what is it made of and then how can you actually make the chart? So let me just get into the logic and then we will just jump right into with the workings of the chart. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to qu quickly create a dummy of the chart. So what happened all right so let's say we have uh, just roll over here let's say so let's say we have a bar here and uh, assume that this is the target bar and we are trying to draw a chart where uh, the targets have not been met so this bar is going to be colored as gray uh, you can see that here and on top of this is we're going to sh show that how much of the target that we could not meet so let's say this is the target that somebody was not able to meet and this is going to be colored as red right so in the next one what we have here is um, this is the one uh, so let's say just increase the size a bit mm, okay um, so the next one is going to be that uh, what is it that you overachieved so I'm just going to increase the size size here and let's say this is going to be in blue color now, uh, the target was this much, but you overachieved the target by this much. So we're going to have also have a line which shows us what is the target, right? So in the first case, the target was here. The target was here. Um, but your actual sales were here. So this is the gap that you were not able to achieve, right? In the second one, the target was here. Uh, sorry, in the second one, we need to copy that. So in the second one, the target was here but you actually overachieved the target and this is what you overachieved, right? So we're gonna need a few things uh, for sure. Uh, so we, we would need uh, these uh, little dashes uh, for uh, defining where our target is. Then we would also need um, the difference between the target and the sales. So this is the target and this was my actual sales and this is the difference. So we would need the difference Plus we would also need the difference between the actual sales. So this is the actual sales and this was my target and this was the overachieved thing, right? This is all that we would need in the chart. Um, once we crunch the numbers, then we will get into making the chart. I'm just gonna hop over to the exercise sheet where I already have the data. So take a look at the data. We have the salesman's name, we have the sales here and we have the targets. Also note that the targets are uh, arranged in uh, you know, uh, descending order. So the largest one first and the smallest one in the end. Let's see how can we make a chart from this. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna write is that how much of the targets were not met. So let me just give it a title that target not met. This is going to be the difference between the target and the sales. So I will say that's target minus the sales, right? So wherever the target was more than the sales, it's going to show me the difference press enter, drag it down, and we have the difference. Now, it is also showing me the minus numbers, and the minus numbers are those numbers where the targets have been met or overachieved. So how do I make sure that I only get uh, uh, the numbers where the targets have not been met, not the numbers where the targets have been met or overachieved? So what I will do is I will simply play a trick and I will use a max function and uh, max it out with zero. So if the difference between this two uh, target minus sales is giving a negative, it will pick up zero, right? So drag it down. This is a smarter way of uh, just trying to avoid the if function. Uh, so what I've done is I have set uh, max of two things, max of difference between the target and the sales. So if this is a positive number, it will pick up this. If this is a negative number, it will pick up zero because it has to pick up the maximum between the two. Right, so that's about it. Uh, so this is the targets where the targets have not been met. So here it's falling short of nine, here it's falling short of 16, 68, 43, and so on and so forth. 
The next that I want to find out is the targets overachieved or let's say not the targets but the sales over achieved A C H I E V E D A V E D. All right. The next thing that I'm going to say is uh, please take the difference between the sales and the target this time because I'm trying to find that how much was the sales more than the target so the difference is between sales and targets uh, here. And I want to nullify the minus number. So again, max of this and this, right? So wherever the sales are more uh, than the target, it is going to show me the number. Otherwise, it's a zero. Right? Now that we have the data, let's quickly try and make the chart. I'm going to pick up the targets. Press Alt F1. That's the shortcut to make a standard column chart and take off the title from here. Now remember that in the sample, we had uh, a little dash for uh, you know the the target right and we don't want to have a bar we want to have a dash so let's start with that first the first thing that i'm going to do is select uh, the targets right click on that change the chart type to a line chart with a marker fair enough all right so i have something like this right now i will take off that line outline as no outline and I will only retain the markers. Now what I will do is I will customize the markers not to a dot but to a line. How do I do that? I will go in the insert tab, insert tab, I'll go in shapes and draw a straight line. Remember that whenever you're trying to draw a straight line, uh, use the shift key, the shift key allows you to draw a straight line. Now the I'll just try and increase the weight of the line and change the color. So color is going to be dark gray and weight is going to be about, uh, about one and a half. Fair enough. Now what I will do is I will copy that line. Just a second. Let me just increase the size a bit. Fair enough. Oh, this is too much. I think this is okay. So what I will do is I will copy the line. Press Control C to copy it. This little shape that we've made. Pick up the markers and then use the shortcut Control V to paste it. Now you'll see that instantly the markers have been customized to a line right now that we have the dashes the other thing that i want to do is instead of having one two three four five six seven eight, nine ten i want to have the names of the salespeople. so right click on this select data in the horizontal axis click on edit and i want to pick up the names right up here press enter okay fair enough now that i have the names i just want to don't want to have the outline and uh just put it right here okay now that i have the names here uh, I also want to kind of plot the bars here. So I will pick up the sales. Uh, the shortcut way of getting uh, these into the bar chart is simply you copy the data, the data only, not the headers. Copy the data, uh, control C, and then select the chart, press control V to paste it, and you instantly get those values in the chart. So that's a little shortcut. Now that we have it here, uh, it's again showing as a line with markers. The lines have been omitted automatically, but we don't want that. We want a bar chart, right? Remember bar charts, right? Fair enough. So I will right click here, go to change series chart type. And instead of having a line with markers, I want to have a bar chart, but not a normal bar chart. I want to stack a value on top of it. So I'll pick up a stacked column chart. So stack column chart, press OK, right? Now, if you take a look at the chart here, where this is the target line and this is the actual sales. So the difference here is nothing but the sales that have not been met. Fair enough. Now I will, what I will do is this is the place where I've already calculated the sales that have not been met and I will just plug it right into my chart. So control C to copy, pick up the chart, control V to paste it. Again, it has pasted as a line chart with markers. I don't want that. Right click on this, change the series chart type to uh, not align with markers, but a stacked column chart so that these dots can get converted into a bar chart and get stacked on top of this chart. So stacked column chart, press OK. Perfect. So now you take a look that wherever the targets have not been met. Uh, so this was the actual sales. This was what the difference was. And uh, it is showing the difference in gray. Now a bit of little color coding here. So we wanted the sales to be uh, gray we are not trying to highlight the sales but we are trying to highlight that how much of the target was not met and instead of having a dark gray color here i will rather pick up something red more alarming red all right so we have this so we have uh, the dashes for targets this is what our target was 
this is what the actual sales is but this is what the difference is fair enough right now that we have this chart ready i'm going to also uh, highlight the places where the targets have been overachieved which is right up here up here and up here here the targets have been overachieved so what will i do i need to have a stacking of the target and on top of that i need to find out that how much was the sales overachieved so how much was it overachieved is right up here how much was the target is right up here fair enough so i will copy the targets control c to copy pick up my chart and then paste it right up here now these are my targets right but i don't want the targets again in terms of a dot i want them instead of a dot i want it on the bar now please note that we have already placed uh, three things on the primary axis this is the primary axis we have placed the dashes which is the target we have placed uh, the sales and we have placed the difference between the target and the sales which is the red now if you place anything else and start to try to stack it up on top of this it's going to come up here which is not that we want we want to just highlight this so the next thing that we have just plotted is my target which is this dot and i want to put this on the secondary axis so i will pick up this control 1 uh, to format the data series uh, i will say that okay please put it up on the secondary axis close it so now you'll see that okay we have an axis here now instead of a, a line chart with dots i don't want that i want to rather have a bar chart all right bar stacked sorry stacked chart so i will just get that right fair enough though now now we have uh, all the targets up here now what we want to do is uh, on top of this i want to stack wherever the sales have been overachieved which is right up here so if you take a look in the last two or three values the sales have been overachieved so here the sales was overachieved by 13 and i will stack 13 on top of this bar so this will be highlighted differently uh the other thing that i want to do is there are a lot of data that i have put it in the chart and i rather want to name the data so select data option when i right click on the chart and i have a lot of series 1 series 2 series 3 whenever you're trying to have multiple series in the chart try and give a name to these series uh this way you can understand that what is it when you have multiple series running up in your dialog box so i will click here click on edit please remember the first one was column d column d uh i have the targets so i will name this as a target and this was a marker so i will say this is a target marker okay the second one series 2 was a uh, c column c column was my sales so i will call this as sales dummy click on okay the third one was the difference between this was column e it was a difference between the target and the sales so this was targets not met target not met so i will put it up here the fourth one is nothing but my target dummy because um i want to plot the target dummy on uh, on top of the target dummy i want to plot the sales that have been overachieved so instead of having uh, these ones as colored as yellow i don't want to color them at all i rather i'm more interested in coloring the ones that have been overachieved right so i will right click on this that have been colored as yellow go in the fill and then say i don't want to fill them right okay now i will i will pick up the overachieved values control c to copy them select the chart and paste them right up here now again um right click them and i want to change the ch series chart type and i don't want the chart type to be aligned with markers i want it to be a stacked stacked column chart and i wanted to have it on the secondary axis right up here all right okay so now wherever there is a blue you will find that uh the sales have been overachieved wherever there is a red you will find that the target was above this is what your actual sale was and this is what was underachieved all that you have to do in this chart now is just a bit of formatting and just add the data labels and you're just good to go right i hope you like the video on target charts uh, i am going to link all the notes and all the other resources uh, in the notes